guys, thanks for joining me for another episode. This is a Minister of Beauty, and today I wanted to talk about two people that I feel have some similarities, and it's just very striking to me how these two people have a lot of similarities. There may not be as much controversy surrounding one person versus the other person, but they have a lot of similarities, but with one, it's as if it's okay, even though there may have been some chatter and gossip about this person at one point, but now it's just seen as acceptable. And then with the other, there's just a whole lot of controversy around surrounding this person because of the circumstances that were involved with the situation that this person was in. And these two people I'm talking about are Ashley Darby of The Real Housewives of Potomac, And the other person is Asriel Clary. She is the now former, or one of the former girlfriends of the singer who sang I Believe I Can Fly and many other songs. I'm not even gonna mention his name. But it's just something that I was thinking about because there's been some headlines surrounding both of these people. One, not so much with the individual that I'm talking about, but more so about the person that the person is married to, and that would be Ashley Darby. Now, Ashley Darby, again, she's one of the Real Housewives of Potomac. She's been on the show since it started. She, I started watching the show, and I I didn't watch it the last season, and the previous season before that, I wasn't really too much in tune to it. I just kind of watched it here and there. But she came on the first season a little bit after, so maybe about the second or third episode she joined the cast. Well, her bio on the Bravo website, it says, Ashley Darby is an entrepreneur with a passion for hospitality, philanthropy, and holistic health. As a Maryland native with a spicy personality, Ashley has been instilled with tenacity and an unmatched drive to succeed. The oldest child in her family, Ashley grew up juggling multiple jobs to help support her single mom and younger siblings. When she turned 18, she attended the University of Maryland and bartended on the side to keep both herself and her family financially stable. While bartending, Ashley was scouted by the Miss District of Columbia pageant and went on to take the crown in 2011. Soon thereafter, Ashley met Michael Darby, an Australian real estate millionaire who is 29 years her senior. Sparks flew and Ashley was introduced to a world she never knew existed. After four years of dating, the couple married and Ashley went from 22 and single wife to stepmother of Michael's 25 and 27 year old children. Ashley is a certified yoga instructor and advocates that balance is about inner peace and outer physicality. Although she's having the time of her life, Ashley is working on how to balance love, family, business, along with new motherhood to her baby boy, Dean Michael Darby, with her husband, Michael. Okay, so there's been some news headlines very recently regarding Ashley's husband, Michael. And this was something that originated on the Love B. Scott blog and some other bloggers reported on it. But basically, Ashley's husband, Michael, he is not somebody that is not, you know, he's he's familiar with controversy because he's, been there before. On the previous season, there was an issue about him doing something to one of the either producers or the cameraman's body that was not asked for. It was just him being touchy-feely. He's been he's been rumored to be bisexual and so is Ashley. So to be honest with you, not so much just because of the age difference, but just the things that they they just have so much not in common that to me it appears to be an arranged arrangement not saying it's an arranged marriage but you know you do for me and I do for you I'm your trophy wife you have the money you know let's make this work that's not something that's uncommon of course because there are so many men that have money that wind up with trophy wives but even though sometimes that age difference is there it's not that much of an age gap 
And honestly, that is a huge age gap. It's a huge age gap and I feel like it's a huge issue, but of course, she's not my daughter, so I can't tell her what to do. But from watching the show, her mom seemed to be okay with it and then her mom has had her issues with financial issues, um, possibly some substance issues. I don't really want to say 100% because I don't really remember everything, but I know that there were definitely some financial issues and it may stem from some some type of substance you know issues or habits that her mom may have and so Ashley being in this marriage to this wealthy person she has been the one that's been financially taking care of her her mom and you know the family and her husband you know at one point got tired of it and said you know I don't want you to support your mom anymore and they had a semi blow up about it but they came to some agreements and they were able to work things out. But the age difference thing, you know, she just had a baby not too long ago with him. That clearly was something that she was going to do. I mean, of course, the next step after marrying a wealthy man, especially one that's much older than you, is to have a baby, right? Um, I don't know if they have a prenup. I can't remember if that was something that they mentioned or talked about before, but definitely this is an arrangement that works for the both of them. But there's not a whole lot of people that I at least hear about that really think that it's a big issue. But I feel like it really is a big issue. And the reason why I wanted to talk about her and Asriel Clary. So Asriel Clary, she was one of the more outspoken girlfriends of the singer, the R to the K. And she was interviewed by Gail King along with one of the other girlfriends. And she was very outspoken. Um, I felt that she was playing it up a little bit too much, but that was just me. And then, you know, later on, after he got locked up, not too soon, but not too much far, you know, thereafter, he was locked up in federal prison. She left him. And I don't know all of the details, and I'm not here to talk about all of that stuff, but with regard to Azriel Clary, she, again, was someone that got with a much older man at a very young age who had a lot of money. Now, with this situation, even though there's some people that were, say, were on the side of R. Kelly being with women that were much younger than him, and you know, people were saying it was consensual, and they were of legal age even though they're younger it was legal and whatever again i'm not here to talk about all of that stuff because i don't know all of those facts and i don't know all of those details and that's not really what this video is about those explicit and exact details surrounding whether that was um an appropriate <laughs> setup with him having multiple girlfriends and especially multiple girlfriends that were younger than him but the fact that he, again, was someone who had a lot of money w w and was with women that were much younger than him. But in this situation, I, I don't think even if they did get married, I don't think people have the same amount of respect and they view the situation as okay. But Ashley Darby is in a situation, in my opinion, that's not that much different than Asriel Clary. Now again, I know that the, the documentary came out and there were people that were saying that he was holding women hostage and that Asriel Clary is a victim and other women were saying that they were a victim of manipulation and different things. Again, I'm not here to talk about all of that stuff, but what I am here to say is that the situation was just wrong in terms of the relationship being between people who are just so much apart in the age. And with Ashley Darby, I don't really see a whole lot of people saying much about it. And it could be a race thing, I don't know, because again, Ashley Darby is, she is biracial. She has, a, she has an African-American mother and her father, which she doesn't have a relationship with her father but her father is a Caucasian man. And 
and the man that she's married to is an Australian man. So he's considered to be, even though he's Australian, he's considered to be Caucasian. He's not black, he's not African. Whereas with Asriel Clary and the singer, they are African-American. So a lot of times in the African-American community, that is not seen as okay. That is not seen as normal for someone to be in a relationship with someone that is that much apart in age as you know they are. And even though the, the situation and the circumstances surrounding Asriel Clary, where she, I believe, she said she left home when she was 17 to go and live with R. Kelly. And R. Kelly was, I don't know how old he was at the time, but she is in her early 20s right now and R. Kelly is in his 50s. So again, a 30 something age difference. And Ashley Darby, her husband is 29 years older than she is. But for some reason that is seen as okay. I don't know. I, I'm sure that there are people who don't think that it's okay. So I'm not saying that everyone believes that Ashley Darby is in a situation where it's it's seen as normal. But I do believe that people see that as more acceptable because of their race versus the situation that Asriel Clary was in with the singer. Now, I know at this period in time they're no longer in a relationship and she's saying that he did some things or made her do some things or convinced her to do some things whatever the wording is that she's not okay with now but at the time she was okay with it because she was so-called in love with with the singer but with the Ashley Darby thing and she again she had a baby not too long ago with this man this man he has been busted doing some things that were not okay. And Ashley Darby is like, it, it's all good. Just recently, he was reported to have been in a hotel room with one or two women. Some of it is on video. And I'll try to put a link to that in the description box for you all who have not seen that or heard about that. But he is heard saying some things that are just pretty outright disturbing. And Ashley Darby, she gets on her social media, I believe it was her Instagram account, and she's basically saying, you know, all is still good. You know, stay tuned for the Real Housewives of Potomac. And it's like, okay, so clearly you all are either in just an arrangement where you're just going to be okay with this person doing these things on the side or are you doing this because it gives your storyline more juice when it's time for filming to begin and then the show airs I don't know it could be one of the two or it could be it could be something else completely uh, but I'm just giving my view on what I see you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about it but Ashley Darby and Asriel Clary they're both young women. Ashley Darby is older than Azriel Clary, so she's not the same age as Azriel Clary, but they're both in or have been in relationships with men who were much older than them based on the wealth and the security that could be given to them. And in one situation, whereas we're talking about Ashley Darby, it's seen as okay and it's seen as acceptable. Her mom was okay with it. Her mom actually is benefiting off of it because Ashley is taking care of her mother. Whereas with Azra Clary, her parents, even though there's some people that think otherwise, I'm, again, I'm not here to debate all of that stuff, but from what I have seen on social media, especially with her dad, her parents have been fighting to get their daughter back home and they did not seem to be okay with the situation. And even there were some times when her father 
you know, he would do videos and he would even just say like, look, I, if, if she's in love with him, then I just kind of have to accept that because she's not a little girl anymore. She is of legal age, but I just want to have my daughter in my life. I want to see my daughter. I don't want to not have a relationship with my daughter. And, um, but they, again, did not seem like they were okay with the relationship. And again, some of you may say otherwise in the comment section and say, things you know and I've heard different stories again I don't know what the full truth is because I wasn't there and so I'm not even talking about all of that but I'm just talking about in terms of the the familiarity and the similarity between Ashley Darby and Azriel Clary and them being involved with men who are much older than them that have a lot of money again it's nothing new so I'm not here to say that this is a one-time thing and it's a first-time thing and I can't believe this is going on because clearly this has happened a lot in the past I mean you have men like um, Woody Allen I mean he married his freaking adopted daughter I mean for God's sake but again he is seen as a respected director and yeah there were grumblings about things not being right with the situation but it's become accepted and that's what I feel about the situation and the relationship and marriage between Ashley Darby and her wealthy much older husband it's become accepted and it's clearly gotten her on this platform of being one of the Real Housewives of Potomac. And it's got her name some buzz and she's got, you know, a lot more followers and some, you know, she's become a Bravo celebrity. I wouldn't say she's a celebrity, but she's become a Bravo celebrity. She's become a personality that people are familiar with. And, you know, and she's securing the bag and it's seen as okay. People have come to accept it. I just don't under I don't understand it. I'm not judging it, but I am giving my perspective on what I see because I just don't again don't understand it. But I do see that there are those similarities between her and Azrael Clary, but just one is seen as accepted and the other situation with Azrael Clary and the singer was not seen as acceptable. And there are people that were okay with it. There were people that were, you know, justifying it. Again, that's, that's always going to happen. There's always going to be some people who are for it and some people who are against it with anything. But in comparison, I just feel that the situations are so similar, except one is seen as more justifiable and more acceptable than the other. And I just, I just wanted to talk about it because they're both beautiful, vibrant young ladies. Ashley Darby, she seems to be, you know, pretty bright, but she got herself into a situation that was a come up for her. And then with Azrael Clary, she was a singer. She got attached to this famous singer and they started a relationship. However, <laughs> you know, however that relationship started. I mean, of course, I believe it started as a physical thing and then maybe it just morphed into feelings. I wouldn't say it was love because to be honest, at that age, especially going through some of the things that Azra Clary's parents said that she went through before with a former boyfriend and then being suicidal and different things like that, there was just, there's just so much immaturity there that I don't believe that that was really love. It was just um, an escape from one father figure to another, but this wasn't her father. This was supposed to be her man, her boo, her love, and you know all these other things that she was saying. And now she's away from this man and she's starting to open her eyes and seeing things a bit differently and that's normal. So I'm not here to judge her on that either because I know there's some people that are like sick and tired of hearing her. They think she should just go to therapy and not be on social media at all. I kind of agree with some of those things but I also do understand that this is a different day and age that we live in and social media for a lot of people is an attachment. It is something that is a normal for them. So for someone like me who has to kind of be forced or reminded to post something on social media because I'm just so far removed from it, it's not something that I'm attached to the hip with. And 
you know, with these people, you know, these days, I mean, it's everything from TikTok to Instagram to Twitter and, and just everything like that. And so her posting regularly and going live and all of that different stuff like that, it may be a bit therapeutic for her. I don't know. I'm not here to judge her in that department because I don't know. People can say that she doesn't act like a victim. I'm not really here to judge, you know, what a victim is supposed to act like because every individual goes through things differently. Every individual grieves differently. Every individual survives something differently. We're not cookie cutter, um, you know, figures. We're individual beings. And so this may be therapeutic for, for her. It may be helping her in some way. And, you know, I hope that it is helping her. And whether she was right or wrong, she will have to pay the price. And if she was right and she gets a reward for it, great. If she was wrong and she gets a penalty for it, then that's just, you know, the law of sowing and reaping and we all have to reap what we've sown. So again, I'm not here to judge whether she was um, right or whether she was wrong in the things that she did after being in a relationship with the singer. But I'm just talking about the relationship as a whole with regards to the age difference and how the relationship with Ashley Darby and her husband Michael is seen as more acceptable versus Asriel Clary and the singer that she was involved with. And again, just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Not going to go too much deeper you know, with that, because this could become a very, very long episode and I'm not here to analyze, you know, each individual person's psyche and all of that different stuff like that, guys. But it was just interesting to me. So I just wanted to talk about it. You guys let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Um, I really appreciate you all watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. And guys, this is the Minister of Beauty here to share the Bible. That's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So until the next episode, make sure you leave a comment, check out the description box for the links to support. And I hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.